Scorpio and welcome to your love and romance reading for August 2020. So I know I haven't uploaded anything for um, quite a while, I've had a lot going on and yeah I only put out readings if I can put in 100% so yeah now I'm able to put in 100% I'm doing readings. So let's get into it. So in the past we have the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Ariel and we have the King of Swords so some of you have been dealing with a Aries, Sagittarius or Leo or a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, it can be any sign. So I feel in the past, it's like someone was attracted to you, but they were kind of emotionally distant. They kind of gave off this energy of wanting to be single or um, not wanting to commit, okay, with the King of Swords. But at the same time, it, it, it's kind of like with the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands being there, it's kind of like this hot and cold energy. So it could be that maybe one person in this situation was more warm than the other. So one person was offering, you know, um, emotion and that kind of thing. And the other person was cold. Or on the other hand, it could be that, you know, this person was just hot and cold in general in the past. Now, the current situation. Okay. Let's talk Scorpio. I'm going to say it how I see it. Someone is burdened by lies, okay? And this is the current situation. So we have the Seven of Swords here and we have the Ten of Wands here, okay? So ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, work in too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So this is about, you know, a burdensome situation. So someone here, again, is really burdened by lies with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So let's look into that. Let's do some investigating, see what they're up to. Clarification on the Seven of Swords. What is this person hiding from Scorpio? Or what are they lying about? Okay. So two cards come out. We have the Empress and we have the Five of Pentacles. So with the Empress, I'm going to be honest, it could be that maybe they had a thing with someone else. Okay, I'm going to clarify why the Empress is here. And we have the Five of Wands. So it, it's like maybe, hmm, this is an interesting one. Maybe there was another female who... Um, they kind of left out in the cold and that's what they're, they're lying about. Let's see why the Empress is here. Clarification on the Empress. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. For some of you, this isn't going to resonate with all of you, but for some of you, I'm seeing like a secret pregnancy. Um, or someone lying about a pregnancy, you know, so whether you're dealing with someone who um, got somebody else pregnant and they're kind of trying to hide it or, yeah, just something to do with pregnancy um, being like hidden. Also, what I'm seeing as well is, yeah, like a feminine energy being um, hidden as well or them lying about something. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely secrets here. Okay, so if you're a female and you're watching this, then yeah, I definitely feel as though you need to look into this person because there's maybe secrets going on, especially if they have a child already and they have, you know, like um, a baby mother, then I feel like there's lies, there's secrets there. So I feel like they're lying about something to do with that. Okay, something to do with, you know, um, a baby mum, something to do with children, they're lying about it. Okay, so look into that Scorpio. This is the current situation. This person's not being honest about everything. They're kind of being sneaky. So up and coming. So you're determined to have success in this situation. It's like you don't want to be ignored. And I feel like you're going to make your presence felt. Okay. Or it could be the other way around. Maybe you're ignoring this person or you're not paying them much attention. But it's like this person is determined to get your attention it can be vice versa but it's like one of you is determined to get the other one's attention so we've got the seven of wands here which is about um you know persistence and then the six of wands you know attention recognition this person wants your attention okay so now the obstacles so there's a lack of movement there's a lack of um 
there's like a lack of um, communication here and a lack of spending time. There's there's not like an equal give and take. So maybe one person was putting more into this situation than the other. Okay. Um, and it's, as I said in the beginning, in the past, one person possibly being more hot, the other one being more cold. You know, yeah. Um, yeah, so I do see like issues with like, with like um, communication definitely here okay and things just not moving forward now what's interesting is in the mutual energy we have the emperor and we have the nine of wands okay so it's like both of you both want to take charge of this situation but you're both guarded about each other so both of you are guarded about each other and both of you want your own way so there's like a stubbornness and this could be why there's um, a lack of communication you know because it, it's like you both have this my way or the highway kind of energy and not in a bad way you know but at the same time you're both cautious you're both guarded with with one another So now their feelings. So we have the Seven of Swords again. Okay, so the Seven of Michael is the Seven of Swords. So they're trying to work um, things out. Okay, so they feel like there's lies and they're trying to work it out. So whether they're trying to kind of fix things so that their lies don't get exposed. Um, yeah, in fact, I'm going to look even deeper into this seeing as the seven of swords has come out twice now clarification on the seven of swords okay so they feel like okay so we've got the six of swords here so they feel like you've gone away due to lies okay but they want to work it out with the eight of pentacles they want to put the work in they want to resolve it even though they've lied okay so to be honest with you, Scorpio, I feel like if this person um, has lied, maybe you've already caught them out, okay? Because it's saying that somebody has left due to lies, okay? But at the same time, they want to work it out. So that leads me to actually believe that this person want, um, is actually the one that's been lying, you know? And that's why they want to work it out, okay? I've been like caught out lying. Now I want to try and resolve it with this person, you know? So I don't feel like it's you, you Scorpio. I don't feel like it's you lying or being deceptive or anything. So their feelings. Okay, so we have the Magician and we have the Ten of Swords. There's two interpretations I have for this, okay? I'll go, I'll go for the worst one first. Okay, be a little bit careful with this person, okay? Take what resonates with you. Use your own intuition, so we have the Ten of Swords, which, as you know, is backstabbing, um, betrayal, being really hurt. And we have the Magician. Is this person feeling a bit revengeful? Are they feeling like they want to hurt you? That's why I'm saying be careful, because the Magician is manifesting something. Okay, now the second interpretation of this is that something has ended, but they want to turn it around. I'm going to clarify the Magician clarification on the magician yeah be careful Scorpio they're trying to manifest bullshit I feel like uh, I've never had to say this in um, a reading before but I feel like they're trying to hurt you Scorpio and yeah so if you're feeling a way if you are see your mutual energy is this. So you're not even actually being like paranoid Scorpio because this person is literally out, out to get you. Now, in many ways, the magician is a positive card. It's about manifest um it's about manifestation, going after what it is that you want. But the magician, in a negative sense, can also be a trickster. And what this person is trying to manifest, revenge. Now, I'm going to be honest, Scorpio, as well. Maybe they feel like this is you towards them. But that's, yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be that. But, yeah, I would say be careful with this person, okay? Now, your feelings. So, you possibly want a new start with this person. But at the same time, it's like you feel tired, you feel trapped. You do want a new start. But, Scorpio, 
what are you giving this person a new start for? They're not worth it, okay? So, your views on the situation. So, you feel like you can get in control of the situation and move it forward with the chariot. You feel like the situation can move forward. But, again, not to be negative, but to go back to this, what are you moving forward to? You know? And then we have, have the page of Ariel. So some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, but I more feel like with the page of Ariel, it's you learning and discovering more about this person. Okay. I'm going to clarify why the page of Ariel was here. That's traditionally the page of pentacles. Clarification on the page of pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you're slowly moving forward. You're determined, but you're doing it slowly because you want to learn more about this person. Um, yeah, I would say, you know, if, if you want to learn more about this person, um, in fact, before I continue the reading, I'm going to look at this person's motives. What are their intentions with you, Scorpio? Because I'm not liking this at all. And this has never come up in a reading for me before. And I've done thousands of readings. What is this person's intentions towards Scorpio in August 2020? What is this person's intentions towards Scorpio for August 2020? one more shuffle what is this person's intentions towards Scorpio for August 2020 okay so we have the nine of cups make a wish dreams dreams become reality a joyful time in life clarification on the nine of cups The King of Michael. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So I feel like this person does want to, to talk to you. They do want to communicate with you. So, but there's just a side of them that is quite spiteful, that is after revenge. So even though they actually want they want happiness, but at the same time there's a spiteful side side to them that I feel you need to be wary of overall I don't feel like their intentions are overly bad but I still feel like you need to be cautious with them um yeah I feel like if you want to speak to this person make sure that they're being honest with you okay the thing I love about Scorpio is it's like a lie detector so if this person is you know um speaking to you but they're just talking shit then you're gonna feel it so yeah um as long as this person is open and they're completely honest with you then i would say like move forward but if you sense that they're just lying then this person's just yeah i would say be careful okay so yeah i feel like this person here it's like your views on it it's like you want things to move forward but you feel like it's just not moving it's just kind of like stuck. Now the outcome. We have the world and the four of pentacles. So I feel like for now it's it's coming to the end of a cycle. Which if I'm honest if this is who you're dealing with. And if this is how they're feeling. They're trying to manifest pain and revenge. Maybe it's you know a good thing that for now temporarily it's kind of ended or it's coming to um, a closure okay so when you give you also receive being being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money so let's clarify why the four of pentacles is there clarification on the four of pentacles okay so we have the five of cups so I feel as though it's coming to an end and someone, I 
feel like it's you because once you have your mind set on something Scorpio, and this is another thing I like about Scorpios, um, I'm a Scorpio rising and I see this trait within myself, once I have my mind set on something, that's it. Like, once I make a decision, that's it. If I choose to cut you out or if I decide to move on emotionally, then there's no kind of going back. Once I've decided this situation is dead, it's dead. And I can be very stubborn with that. Um, and that's what I'm seeing here. So I'm seeing you you possibly deciding that that's it, it's, it's done. And you're being quite firm about that. And somebody's kind of having regrets okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this reading um it's, yeah there's definitely a lot going on so yeah i don't know what you guys have been dealing with lately but you know looking at the cards it seems like a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you would like a private reading with me all the information you need is in the description link